Colonel Runciman will act as liaison officer between you and Lord Kiley. Runciman? Wagon Master General Runciman. Ex Wagon Master General. You'll find him in town at the Rat and Harlot, most likely. Have you ever dealt with a royal bodyguard before, Richard? Oh, I. In India. The Tipu Sultan's bodyguard. I dealt with them all right. Big buggers they were. And he went out with a fat little pig. But he died harder than the rest of them put together. You killed him? Oh, I. I killed him all right. Capital. Capital. <laughs> We're sending a regicide to take on a royal bodyguard. <laughs> Colonel Runciman. Major Sharp, sir. Oh. There's a hunchback bitch somewhere about here who serves food, Sharp. If you see her, tell her I want some more bread and cheese. Ah! There she is. Stop her. Trip her if you have to. <coughs> <laughs> She's an ugly looking whore, ain't she? Well, sit you down, Shah. Sit you down. Will you have some wine? <laughs> Fusions out, Sharp. That's what my doctor says. Now then, Sharp, this is a chance in a thousand. What? Upon my soul, it is a veritable chance. Know what real means, Sharp? Royal, sir. Oh, so you're not completely uneducated, eh, Sharp? Eh? <laughs> Aye, royal indeed. Royal guard. Not some pack of stinking mule drivers. They have royal connections, and that means royal. Rewards. Yes, sir. A reward for a job well done, eh, Sharp? I mean, God alone knows what London might cough up. A knighthood, order of the bath, damn it, even a viscountcy. And why not, eh? Senor? Why not? Some more wine, you brown skin slut. Si, senor. You see, there's only one problem, Sharp. The fly in our ungent is that these royal guards are Irish. Oh, have you ever commanded the Irish, Sharp? A few, sir, yes. Well, I've been ordering these buggers about ever since they amalgamated the train with the Irish Korowaganism. and believe me, there ain't nothing I don't know about them. You know what the trouble with the tags is, Sharp? No, sir. They don't understand their own good luck. I mean, we go and we sort out their country. <laughs> and all they do is froth of the moor and throw brickbats at us. I mean, there's no gratitude, Sharp. None, but still, we have to be diplomatic, eh? We have to treat these chaps as if they're English. Well, almost English, anyway. <laughs> a fair number of my fellows are Irish, sir. Oh, they would be, Sharp. They would be. I mean, a third of this damn army is Irish. Sharp. <laughs> God, if there was ever a mutiny, you don't bear thinking about, do it, Sharp? No, sir. No, by God, it don't. Now, Sharp, thump them. Thump them hard. It's the only cure for papism, or else a burning at the stake. I mean, that was what my father said. And he was a bishop, Sharp. So he understood these things. Yes, sir. Oh, there's just one more thing. <laughs> I would uh, prefer it if you didn't call me Colonel Runciman. After all, I was Wagon Master General. So it ought to be General Runciman. Have you men do the same? Eh? Of course, General. <laughs> <laughs> 